Sorry, you gotta be quiet for the video. I just need like 10 minutes and then you can talk, okay? What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle, AKA Prince Kyle. If you don't already know me from Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, for those of you that don't know me, I am transgender female to male and I'm an advocate for the transgender community on Instagram and I discuss trans topics on TikTok as well. Um, first, I should introduce you to my special guest. This is Leo and I just got him a few days ago Obviously, he's a baby still, so he'll probably cry through this whole video, but we'll see how it goes. Basically, I just wanted to dive right into it. I get a lot of questions, especially on TikTok, what my sexuality is, and I thought, why not actually make an in-depth video? It's very complex, but basically, I'll just tell you a timeline of my dating life and just how I began growing older and learning more about my sexuality and being more content with what I identify in now. So basically, during high school, before I transitioned and before I really knew that I was transgender, um, I dated a few boys here and there, and it never really felt right, but I just at the time thought it was the right thing to do, and I'm like, oh, bless you, bless you. At the time, I thought it was the right thing to do, and I thought, like, mm, maybe a couple guys later, it'll just, it'll start to feel normal, it'll feel right. Eighth and ninth grade, I dated guys but it really it was it would last like three days they weren't even real relationships but i just put it that way just because during that time i thought i was straight and i thought i was a cisgender woman who was straight but then over time i knew internally that i did like women i just didn't know how to come out about it and i didn't want to i didn't i didn't want to have to deal with the stigma in high school as a lesbian so i started dating a girl back in 10th grade. This is the first girl I've ever been with and we actually ended up dating for about three years. And at that point I identified as bisexual, but in my head I, I knew that I really just only liked women, but it was easier to come out as bisexual because then I could come out and be like, hey, I like girls, but I still like boys. So like, don't hate me too much, which was the wrong way to go about it. But whatever, long story short, at that time around 10th, 11th grade, I was bi bisexual. So then after high school, I graduated, me and my ex broke up, and that is when the whole transgender came to light, and I jumped the gun and transitioned and started living fully as a male. And this is about freshman year of college. Because I was confused of how it worked being trans, I was just telling people that I am lesbian. People just thought I was lesbian, but I was transgender but I didn't know, I just didn't know how that stuff correlated together. So I was technically identifying as lesbian at this point in time because I only dated women and I was just in the, in the beginning steps of being transgender and living fully as a male. So now my second year of college, I started kind of going back into the dating world. And during this time I was dating people on and off and it was like for like a couple months. So again, I don't really count those guys either. So during this time, I was now identifying as straight because now I am fully living as a male and I'm only dating women, didn't have any interest in men, but it was because I was again, afraid of the stigma that it would have around it and what that would categorize me as. And also because I felt like if I liked men, it took away my masculinity, which is again, completely wrong. And I, again, grew up and learned a lot more about how it all works. So at this point in time, I was a straight male and I only dated women. Now we're going into about junior year of college and I started dating my best friend, who most of you guys probably know who I'm talking about. We started dating and at this point in time, I was becoming more open with my sexuality. And I was looking at men and thinking like, oh wow, like he's really attractive. Like, oh wow, okay. And I would even talk to my girlfriend about this. Like, yeah, like I can openly say this person's really attractive. 
And then uh, at this point in time, now I'm fully transitioned, pretty much exactly how I want to appear to other people. And I was realizing that, okay, I'm confident in my own body. Now I need to be confident with my sexuality. And at the end of the day, just because I look, in some people's terms, cisgender male, and again, that's the wrong way of even putting it, but I'm just putting it how a lot of people say it. But because I now appear fully male, I realize that your sexuality has absolutely nothing to do with the way you appear or the gender you identify as. So at this point, now I'm realizing that I can still like men. And towards the end of my senior year of college now, um, I realized that I was still into men. But here, now I'm identifying as a bisexual male. Um, now I'm like, okay, yeah, like this is fine, this is cool. I'm sexually attracted to men and that's okay. So now, in this point in my life, now I'm out of college. Again, I'm still fully transitioned, obviously. And I realize that at the end of the day, I may be 110% male, but that does not limit my options of who I can like sexually and romantically. So basically to wrap this up and kind of get to the point, now I identify as 100% male and my sexuality is pansexual because I just like people for people and I do have a preference and I feel as though everybody has a preference and sexuality is a spectrum. There is no you are 100% straight and there is no you are 100% gay. I believe it is all spectrum and it all falls towards vibes and energy and we all crave a good vibe. Whether people want to see it that way or not, that's kind of how it is. Obviously, there are people who lean towards more women, and there are people who lean towards more men. And I am one of those people who lean towards more women, because I crave female energy. Not saying a man can't have female energy, but in a sense, I just crave a woman's energy more than I would a man's energy. So that is why now I identify as being pansexual, and I don't... I don't judge or knock off any type of person, and I would be open to get to know any type of person, whether that be male, female, trans, non-binary, all the above. Um, I accept all, and again, for me, it comes down to vibe, but I will say that I do crave more female energy, which leans me more towards romantic partnerships with women, but I will always be sexually attracted to men and women, and non-binary and trans women and trans men. So pretty much to answer everybody's question, I am transgender, female to male, and I am pansexual. Because at the end of the day, I just look for good personality, good vibes, and somebody who I find attractive. And uh, yeah, so that is how I went from bi to gay to straight to pan to whatever I don't even at this point like the timeline of like the way that I went is just all over the place but moral of the story is it takes growing to realize that at the end of the day we're all just people looking for love and there is no direct correlation between gender and sexuality and I was one of those people had that had that misconception that because I transitioned the male I needed to be with women or if you don't transition, you should be to this or to that. And it just took a little growing up and different types of relationships that I've been in with people to realize that it is okay to like who you like. And at the end of the day, it just people are people and love is love. And um, I know that was kind of like confusing and it could have been complicating the way I explained it, but my life is pretty complicating and I don't make it easy. But if I made it easy, like, that's kind of boring. And I like to, I like to be complex. So that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I haven't posted in a while and I really do apologize for that. I'm trying. Um, it's just me and editing and working a lot and it becomes a lot. And I post on TikTok just about every day. 
Uh, right now, TikTok is like my focus. I really like posting on there and I like the vibes on there. I know, I'm almost done, I promise. I like the vibes on TikTok, so that's really where um, my energy goes at the moment. But I'm gonna try and keep posting. All I can say is that I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not following or subscribed, I mean, please go and subscribe. Leave a comment below of other vi other videos you would like to see. And uh, yeah, have a good night. Peace.